Hi, this is Gary. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how a straddle option works. Now, conceptually, a uh, straddle option is simply a plain vanilla uh, high volatility bet. In front of me, I have a volatility uh, drawing. Uh, on the left, I have low. On the right, I have high. And essentially, we are betting uh, with a straddle option on high volatility on the right side there in red. And we're going to make this bet is uh, plain vanilla. So unlike uh, time options, uh, we're just going to go uh, long a call option. And we are going to go long a put option. And the key thing is this is at the uh, same uh, strike price for it to be a uh, straddle option here. Now in front of me, I have a chart of Yahoo stock. And at the time this was done, it was a uh, 4-3 of 2013, the price was at 23.39, and uh, essentially for the straddle option to work, uh, we need the volatility to go in one direction, or the stock price to go in one direction or the other, so uh, if you look at this part I've circled in pink here, uh, that would be an example of a uh, winning uh, straddle bet. On the flip side, uh, if the uh, stock were to do something like this, that would be very bad for our straddle bet, as we'd be highly unlikely that we receive any of the premiums we paid out uh, back in that case. In essence, we're uh, holding ice cubes on uh, bad bets. Now, conceptually, I don't like uh, volatility bets uh, like a straddle bet. If you can narrow it on the probability one way or the other, um, then it might make sense to make a bet, but conceptually I don't like saying, okay, I'm not sure which way it's going to go, but I'm going to bet it's going to move in one direction or the other because you're you're paying a lot for it, and you essentially have to be right more often than you would if you could narrow it on the probability. And uh, we are going to look here at uh, conceptually how it works. I have an options expiring uh, date, and this is for October 18 of 2013. And remember when this tutorial was made, it was in April of 2013. Now for a straddle, we just pick a strike price, and I'm going to pick uh, the number 23. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy one call option at October 23 strike for 214. Then we're going to buy one put option at October 23 strike for 174. And if you put all that together, uh, we spend $214. That's uh, 214 times 100 uh, for the call, and we're spending $174 for the uh, October 23 put. That gives us a grand total of a $388 net cash outlay, and that number will be important uh, for later as we'll have to subtract it from our, our payoff on the graph. And speaking of graphs, uh, we have a graph in front of us, or we will have a graph in front of us after we draw this. Uh, we're buying a call at the 23 strike there. So uh, our upside looks like this. And the payoff of the put, uh, we're buying one put at uh, 23, so uh, the 23 uh, strike price there. And uh, the payoff looks like that. Now, uh, that's our expiration payoff, and uh, of course we have this 388 net cash outlay that we have to subtract from the expiration payoff, so we go ahead and subtract that, and we get our um, profit loss diagram from how a uh, straddle option works here, or from our particular uh, straddle option. And uh, the maximum amount we can gain on the left side is uh, $1,912, and that number is derived from uh, taking uh, 23, which is the uh, strike price, and subtracting uh, the 388, the uh, cost for the uh, transaction, and that gives us a total of uh, 1912, which is the maximum we can uh, profit. And uh, the maximum loss uh, we can lose is uh, 388. And that number is essentially uh, derived from the amount of cash we've spent on this. Now, keep in mind, uh, we're not assuming uh, brokerage fees on this. So our actual transaction cost in real life would be higher. And on the right side, our maximum gain is unlimited uh, as the stock can go up to any uh, potential price in that amount of time. Now, 
theoretically it's unlimited, uh, but and we have a lot of uh, potential on, on the right side. It's not uh, capped. Now uh, we have two break-even points here, and that means that the stock has to go to either 1912 or 2688, and the 1912 number is where we would start our gain on the left, and the 2688 number is the uh, 23 strike price plus the uh, 388 uh, is what we spent in cash outlay, and that's that's where we start making gains on the right. So uh, anything in between 1912 and 2688, uh, we lose on it. And as you can see, that's a pretty wide range, even for let's say six months out. And that's one of the reasons I don't like a straddle. Uh, I think it's uh, better if you can figure out a way to narrow down your uh, probabilities as far as. Uh, one way or the other. Otherwise, you're just uh, options are essentially like holding ice cubes. The, if, the longer you hold them, the more they evaporate, and the more money you lose. And uh, that essentially uh, concludes our tutorial.